New at six, dozens of people rallied in the rain over the future of rooftop solar. They fear changes by the California Public Utilities Commission can make solar unaffordable and also eliminate jobs. KTVU's Brooks DeRose has more on the costs, the perks, the potential changes that could be coming to the solar industry. No solar no solar Protesting a potential policy shift, the solar industry and advocates want to send a message to the California Public Utilities Commission. Solar is going to become more expensive for everyday Californians. Is going to destroy our industry. It's called net energy metering, a policy to promote rooftop solar. For decades, it has incentivized those who invest in panels and sell energy back to the grid. But in California's effort to modernize that policy, the plan is to slash those credits. This group says by 75%. It's too far. It's too extreme. They argue it will eliminate green jobs, become less affordable, and deter future solar customers. I do think it will be a disincentive because people in the middle class, they're having problems. I mean, it's difficult. They need incentives. Right now, 1.5 million consumers use net metering, but some of those who don't have solar say they're forced to pay bigger bills to maintain the electric grid. The subsidies are being paid for by everyone else who doesn't have solar panels. Kathy Fairbanks represents a coalition of low-income consumers, environmental, and business groups, including PG&E. They say the proposed decision doesn't go far enough, especially with renters and those in disadvantaged communities unable to get solar. We just would like to see the program more equitable. Still, the state says the plan promotes solar and battery storage, grid reliability, and shared electric costs for consumers. I think solar is the future of clean energy, and if anything, we need to make it easier and incentivize it. The last thing that we want to be doing is penalizing people who want to go, who want to put solar on their roof. A tough sell for the solar industry, despite knowing some changes are needed. The prices have to come down in terms of how we're getting compensated by the utilities. But to do it all in one year is going to devastate the industry. So we're just seeing a solar cliff. The CPUC is expected to vote on the proposed decision on December 15th. Brooks DeRose, KTVU, Fox 2 News.